For USCFootball.com, I'm Keely Orr here with DB's coach Ronnie Bradford. So how's your group preparing for Notre Dame this week? Uh, you know, it's one of these things where we know they've had a, a bye week and they've seen all of our tape for the most part. I mean, it's one of those things where, um, you know, we, we, we're, we're preparing for a very uh, different team than we faced last year. They're executing on all cylinders. It looks like they're top 10 in the country as far as rushing. And what's surprising, the, the Wimbush kid back there is spinning the ball extremely well. He can make all the throws from the field or from the boundary, deep and short. And so don't just think this team's going to take all the air out of the ball and try to run it every single down. No, he's, he gives them an added dimension back there. Mm -hmm. I saw you talking to your two leaders, Marvell Tell and Chris Hawkins back there. What did you say to them? Uh, you know what? I thought they had a very good practice as far as understanding what we're trying to do and how what we're how we're trying to execute it. Um, they're coming down. They're playing extremely well. Um, you know, it's one of those things where you know we just got to tighten up some things. Come tomorrow. Come Friday. Um, as far as you know what we're doing with our game plan, but you know the fact that they're communing well, communicating well, and, and making sure that everybody in the defense understands what we're playing each and every play, has been you know to this point very good and on our point. And we just kind of talk about you know some of the little nuances that we might go on, have going on from week to week. But for the most part, those guys you know they're my senior leader, they're my veteran leaders, not just seniors, mm -hmm. veteran leaders back there that that understand what we're trying to accomplish. It's going to be a crazy environment. How much does that affect the DB's communication? Do you change anything for that? No. No, this is the crazy thing. We, it's actually easier for us on the road. That's what people don't understand because they're that. Let's just say we always call them a veteran crowd because they understand when they, their offense is on the field, they're very quiet. You know, so for us, communication's easy. You know, it's when we're at home and our crowd is going absolutely nuts that we have to start using hand signals and we have to do all that. That's how we have to communicate. But when we go on the road kind of hush hush you know what I'm saying and everybody can usually hear everything each each player is saying so um, from a communication standpoint in that environment it should be a little bit easier for us than when we're at home what have you seen from Jack Jones this year how has he matured uh, Jack is starting to come into his own as far as understanding the playbook and how it relates you know a lot like last year I thought there was a, there was a few times he was just out there wildcatting you know what I'm saying like we just set the ball down and say go play football see ball get ball but no he's starting to understand how he fits within you know each uh, how his piece fits within each piece, uh, each form of the defense and what we're trying to accomplish where last year just kind of like hey you know what do I got now you can understand he's starting to understand okay where's my safety help where's my underneath help you know if I'm man to man you know what leverage am I trying to play according to where the ball is and that's where I think he's grown at as a player he started to develop as far as awareness you know what I'm saying understanding the situation you know field position and so much more than just me against him mm -hmm. Even Marshall has struggled a little bit. Is that just because teams are targeting him more, or is that is, is he in his head a little bit? No, you know what? I mean, Iman Marshall is a competitor. Um, it, it, is he playing as well as he probably wants to play? Probably not, because he has high, very high standards. Um, but as far as him struggling, I don't see the kids struggling. You know what's crazy is when you get when you get targets at you that many times, people are going to make some plays. You know, last year we had a, a kid on the other side of the ball, a, 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 a cross from Marshall, who struggled in the Utah game, but came back and bounced back the rest of the year. So, you know, sometimes as a defensive back, you're going to have an up and down game or whatnot. But as long as you understand that, hey, I got to put that behind us because this is a new opponent with a new scheme and I got to be ready to execute. All right, good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. With Ronnie Bradford, I'm Keely Or For more, check out uscfootball.com.